Welcome to Sleepless Readings. Tonight we'll be reading a tale called I Took a Weird Drug About 40 Minutes Ago. It was a white ovular pill with black and metallic silver speckles. No bigger than your average aspirin, my plug hooked me up with it. Told me it was some new psychedelic drug. 4-MET-NMT-X. A weird hybrid chemical with analogs similar to both DMT and psilocin. Now I'm no chemist, but the weird X in the end of the chemical's name really threw me off. I took it about five minutes ago and I'm already starting to feel pretty weird. I'm in my basement with my buddies Austin and Parker. I've known them both for years now, so I feel comfortable tripping with them, as they did with me. We all took these pills. We all took these weird fucking pills and the stronger the effects of this shit become, the more and more I feel like it may have been a really bad idea. I don't want to bring up the fact that my anxiety is growing though, because I don't want to set a negative tone for the environment with my friends. It's been seven minutes since we took the pills. Austin is saying he isn't feeling anything, but every time I look at him, he seems to be wiping tears from down his face. Parker went to the bathroom about a minute ago. My heart is starting to feel like it's beating extra fast, and the room is starting to look different. I wouldn't say I'm hallucinating, I mean everything in the room looks the same. But now, it feels like I've never been in this room before. Everything is the same, but it all feels so different and it's unsettling as hell. We put on an anime movie to try and add some chill vibes. Totoro is a really pleasant guy. Just hit the 10 minute mark. I'm having trouble tying my words together. Thank God I'm able to type this. For some reason I can write just fine, but the second I try to be vocal it appears I've lost all sense of how to tie a sentence together. Parker is still in the bathroom. Austin is now staring at the floor and he has been for about a minute now. If only I could ask him what he's seeing. The blank expression on his face leaves me even more curious. My lungs are starting to feel more constricted. The walls are breathing heavily, and the sound of the TV is turning into nothing more than a staticky frequency. The TV is moving from side to side. My face is beginning to feel like it's melting. I feel like my eyelids are going to sink past my eyes, blinding me. I'm going to try and walk over to Austin. 12 minutes in. Austin will not move. I've shook him. I've shook him hard. He will not look at me or even acknowledge that I'm touching him. He's just fixated on the fucking floor. Tears are pouring from his eyes, but he's not making any sound. The walls are shaking vigorously and I can hear what sounds like demonic voices making their way through the static frequency coming from the TV. I'm worried about Parker. He's still in the bathroom. I feel like the floor is becoming sticky. It's getting harder and harder to lift my feet from the ground. They just get more and more stuck by the second. I'm calling my dealer. I don't like this shit at all. 15 minutes have gone by since we first took the pills. My dealer texted me telling me to fuck off. I don't know why he was so hostile. Although I did check my text messages. I don't remember doing it, but I texted him around 40 times in the last two minutes. Although nothing I sent made any sense. This is all really weird. I'm standing up in the middle of the room. Austin is now lying on the ground, staring at the ceiling. I think he's breathing. I think so. I'm going to the bathroom to check on Parker. I'm even more nervous about what's happening with him. 16 minutes. I'm in the bathroom with Parker. He's in the bathtub with the shower spraying on him. He's talking to himself. He keeps repeating the phrase, it's real life, over and over. He's getting louder. He seems angry and now he's yelling it at me. It's real life. The drug is making his eyes look black and his face looks extra sunk in. He's trying to push me out of the bathroom, but I just want to help him. I'm going to push him back. I just want to help Parker. I want to help him. 17 minutes. I pushed Parker and he's not getting up. He fell over into the bathtub and the water is hitting his face. <laughs> it's going into his mouth and I'm laughing because he's just letting it fill his mouth up. <laughs> Parker is always so funny. The drug is making the water behind him look red too. <laughs> Maybe this drug is actually fun. <laughs> I've texted my dealer again. I've told him I'm having a good time. It's so hot in the house. I'm going to take off my shirt. 19 minutes. I'm checking on Austin again. He threw up all over himself and he's breakdancing in the middle of the floor. He didn't even need music. I'm going to go watch more Totoro. I love Totoro. He's so good for us right now, right Austin? Parker's in the room now. He got up from the bathroom. Shower's done, I guess, maybe. Wait, I think it's just Austin still. I'm going to go see if Parker's still in the bathroom, but after Totoro a little bit at least. 24 minutes in. Totoro is scaring me. I hate him. I hate the girls in it. I fucking hate them. I wish Totoro would fucking kill them. He could do it so easily. I fucking hate those stupid fucking characters. Austin isn't moving. He's just staring at the ceilings again. He kept making gargling noises and it was so annoying. I almost kicked him to get him to shut up, but then he just stopped, thank God. 
I'm going to go check on Parker again. 25 minutes. Parker's head blocked the bath drain so the water filled. He can finally take a bath. He's fine. Sometimes I like going underwater in the bath also. I wish Austin would hang out with me. He's a fucking arsehole the more I think about it. It's so fucking hot in the house now. I'm sweating everywhere. I don't need to explain the reason. I know everyone would understand, but I need to beat the shit out of Austin right now. All of this is his fault. Fuck you, Austin. Fuck him. I'm about to hit him. He's so stupid. He's just on the ground. He's making it so easy for me. He's not even moving. I think he's accepting of it. He knows it has to happen. I wish it didn't, but it's just the way it is. My hands hurt so bad. Austin's face has the red shower water on it now. It's been 30 minutes and I feel like the effects are starting to wear off a bit. I checked on Parker again. He's sleeping in the bathtub. Austin's sleeping on the floor. I wish I could sleep. I'm just not tired. I checked my phone to text my dealer again. I'm just going to ask what these pills are supposed to feel like because these were weird. 38 minutes now. My dealer finally texted me back. He's so angry. He's saying he never sold me any pills. Parker just texted me. Why would he text me if he's just in the bathroom? I just got off work. I'll be over in 15 months. What a weirdo, he's already here. I'm gonna check the bathroom and see why he texted me from there. Wait, I'm already in the bathroom. Parker's not in here. D that's weird. I'm with Austin again. I'm so sorry, Austin. Please forgive me, I'm so scared. I'll just keep telling myself this is real life. 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 Thank you for listening. That was I Took a Weird Drug About 40 Minutes Ago. Please consider subscribing for more. And as always, stay sleepless.